1 Corinthians 16.2 says, Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store as God hath prospered him, that there be no gathering, gatherings when I, when I come. There needs to be a level of intentionality when it comes to our giving. There needs to be a level of intentionality. Why is it that, that, that our giving is always like reactive? It's always an afterthought, not a forethought. Okay? Our giving, our giving should be, it should be intentional. It shouldn't be something like we accidentally, you know, I don't know how many of you do this, and, and I just honestly don't know. And again, this is not condemnatory. It's declarative. It's not condemnatory. You do whatever you want to do with your money. It's not yours anyway. It's God's. And, and you know what? I, I, you know what? I see it that way, which is really nice. I see it as not yours. It's God's. How many of us take time to make sure that we, 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 we make sure that we allocate money to God? Now we're talking giving. Okay, again, this is really tough. This is abrasive. Everybody's like going, Pastor knows how much I give. He doesn't know how much I give. No, that's, 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 that's nonsense. This is the, you're the one missing out, not the church, because God would, could just take care of us like that, and it's fine. Okay, so this is really between you and him. How many of you write your check as an afterthought? How many of you, how many of you take time to allocate funds prior to coming to church? Now, I'm not saying writing a, writing a check in your pew is bad. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that we need to give with some intentionality. It needs to be, there needs to be some thought. Uh, we could talk about sacrifice here too. Just briefly touch on this. There are some people who have a million dollars who could drop 20 grand and give to the church. And that doesn't impress me. It doesn't. I'm thankful for it. You know what impresses me? Is when someone has 20,000 and they give 10,000. That impresses me. Proportionally. And we're going to talk about proportion in just a moment. There needs to be some forethought in our giving. Now, there's all, sorts of, there's all sorts of ways to give, right? People give online, not here. It's funny. I, I have this conversation with churches, and, and they say, oh, we're getting 40% of our offering online, and they got these massive budgets, and I'm like, dude, I got $100 last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have an online giving thing that cost me $120, and I spent, and I only got $100. Did he cover it? It's crazy. Now, if you want to give online, that's fine. Uh, people talk about giving... Uh, uh, weekly with kind of like a reoccurring thing that's totally legit. I don't think it's as intentional as as writing a check. And I don't think I don't think the intention is 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 as is as predominant as flipping out twenty dollar bills, right? 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 80. That's a grill. I could have bought a new grill this spring. 20, 40, 60, 84. I could have bought my new tires. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. I mean, you start, to, you start to shell out the cash and you start to go, whoa. I think there's some intention. Now, I'm not saying to give cash. Give a check. It's fine. Matter of fact, I, I'd rather you give a check because then you get tax right off. So, all I'm saying is this. Give with intentionality. Make it mean something. And if you got a billion dollars and you give a million, that'll help the church. Don't get me wrong. But what I think is amazing is when I see that somebody has hardly anything and they give a significant amount, that to me is amazing. For where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. And for where your heart is, there will be your treasure also. I think you can flip those. Uh, when you give, we should do it joyfully, okay? We should do it joyfully. Uh, every man, this is what it says, so women don't have to give. Just kidding. <laughs> every man, according as he hath prospered in his heart, so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. This, this should not be a punishment for any one of us. We are, we, we, we are receiving the blessing. Now, I'm not saying God's going to multiply your income. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that when we give, let's, man, it should be a joy. 
It should be a joy. People actually, I, I like to give. Now, I know that sounds really stupid. It's like, well, you're the pastor. You get your own money back. No, not necessarily. Here's the reality. I actually like to give. I have a good perspective. I believe God is real. I believe he wrote this thing. And I also believe that what I have is not mine. I'm just a steward of it. We should give give cheerfully. We should have a, a spring in our step and a song in our heart when we give to the Lord. This should change us. This should move us. We should be excited. We should come and we should be like, man, I got my check ready. And man, I got my money ready. And, I, and it's not mine. It's God's money. And I, I'm just excited to give back a portion of what he's given to me. He's not asking for 100%. He's saying, you can keep 90% of my money. Now, we could talk about tithing and how it's not mentioned in the New Testament, and I get that. I get tithing. 10% is not mentioned in the New Testament. I get that. But let me ask you something. Should we do less for God under grace than we did under the law? I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's plenty of principle that talks about giving, and et cetera, et cetera. This is great. Great quote. One guy says, the, the, the root, uh, root word for miserable is miser. Those people who are stingy, who just have a have like a firm grip on their cash. You know, some of the some of the some of the happiest people I I, I see are the people who who walk around and just, uh, you know, just bless people. Man, I don't know. To me, it's just it's fun to give. It's fun. I love it. I told God, I said, Lord, if you give me a if you give me a million dollars, I'll give it all away. I'm waiting for Him to say, I'm gonna I'm take you up on that. <laughs> Give joyfully. Here's, here's another good thought. Give from the top. Give from the top. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. This is, this, is a, this, is a, this is Bible. Okay, so this isn't me telling you. I mean, I'm telling you. But I'm telling you what God said. It's in the Bible. Check it out. Uh, Proverbs 3 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thine increase. You know what that means? Give him from the top. People say, they say, well, uh, before or after taxes. I'm like, well, the government took it before taxes. Uh, government takes it from the top. I think God can have it from the top too. Right? I mean, man, I, I, that's the way I do it. They say, well, what about, what about all the increase? Well, it says all the increase. I, I had family members of mine who says, you don't have, now these are family members of mine, who said, well, you don't have to tithe on your birthday gift if someone who gave you the birthday gift tithed on it. I wish the government would do that with taxes. It's been taxed on once, don't worry about it. That's not how they roll. I say, yeah. I mean, that says increase. Increase. Uh, to me, that means increase. So when God gives you something, you give from the increase. When God gives me $20 for my, for my birthday, which is still really nice these days, dude, I tithe on that. But what, about, what about your tax return? You get a tax return back, do you tithe on it? Sometimes I've given the whole thing. And you know what? It feels good to write those checks. It's not my money anyway. It's all God's. You plan to give. Do you plan this way? Do you say, how can I, how can I give more to God? Because the only person that's out of blessing is you. And that's the truth. If God created this world. He'll do anything he wants to do. You can just be part of the blessing. You can be blessed and be part of it because you gave. Give from the top all thine increase. 